I know that you've probably been asked this a few different times. Um, there's been a rumor that you uh, put down Teofimo Lopez in sparring. Um, any any confirmation to that? Uh, 100% truth. You know, I stopped him the first round to the body. Um, before my pro debut, right before I turned pro, he came back two weeks later, you know, stopped him again. Or, uh, he, we said six, he did four, he only wanted four. So we're, he didn't come out to the fourth round. But uh, yeah, that was old news. You know, I want to move forward. I want to get big stoppages like tonight, uh, keep getting better and have people talk about this, you know, not that sparring that was years ago. Well, obviously that was years ago, but um, obviously he's a different fighter by now. He's got a big fight coming up. Um, can you just give us a quick take on what do you think is going to happen on June 19th against George Gamboza? Uh, I haven't watched too much of George Gamboza. I've seen what I've seen. I think uh, Teofimo, uh, I think Teofimo will stop him. I don't think uh, Gamboza is, um, he's fought anywhere near or is ready for that step. But um, it should be a good fight. I have a uh, Teofimo winning in like five rounds. Uh, right now, I think uh, right now I think Tank or uh, Teofimo. You know, they both have so much momentum and the knockout power. You know, that's why I think I fit in there with these guys because I'm, you know, like you saw, I just I'm a I'm a strong fighter. I gotta touch on this uh, since you mentioned sparring. What do you make of that that leak clip of you sparring Figueroa? Um, uh, to me, it's I like you, Marcos. But you dig in sometimes. Like <laughs> well, you. no, no. Let me, let me get, let me get but to I my. Get you. you gotta get yours. You gotta yeah, grab your well... bag of, of, um, of <laughs> not, of not shots. even like that, bro. You gotta grab your bag of. No, shots. no, no. This is the but... point that I was getting to. Mm -hmm. I wrestled, okay, since I was a, since I was like nine years old up until seventeen, and it was always taught to us when you wrestle in the practice room, it doesn't matter who gets the better of you. It doesn't matter if a guy pins you or anything like that. You're practicing. The whole point of that is to practice and to get better. And it doesn't matter. And you don't go and say like, oh, yeah, I, I, I messed you up in, in, in practice, da, 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 da. Like that, that wasn't a thing. And that was always told to us. So I think this happened maybe like two years ago or maybe three years ago. I started hearing all this talk about sparring, 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 sparring. And to me, I, I'm an older cat, obviously. You know, it, it didn't make sense as to why people. I love I just I love the fact because they have to in a way of staying relevant. Just part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, they're all going to talk. Everybody's quick to talk, but no one is standing on to it. Everybody's so easy to talk on on, on Twitter or, or make up these or do these videos or whatever they, they want. But try to female today. Nobody wants to come up and throw me contracts and want to face me. We did that with Loma. How we did it, you know, we, we had to fight the guy that, that he was going to fight. We beat him, knocked him, knocked him out. So that's the whole thing, man. Um, come to, we, we, we like that. We want the smoke. So come, come at us. Uh, I'm, and the whole thing is like, when, when that time comes, so nobody does it. Why? Cause they know everybody yeah. knows. And I also heard too, from, from old time boxers that the, the sparring is like something you don't share with people or even put stuff out there like that either. Well, everybody's know? different. Everybody's different though. We're talking about something that was like maybe almost like it could be eight years ago. Tiofimo ain't, ain't the same. Tiofimo ain't the same fighter he was with the Lomachenko fight, and everybody's gonna see that when I fight Cambosis. You were fourteen you know, years old then. Pe pe people don't even realize that me fighting Lomachenko, not only because we did the work and we did that, and we had a great game plan coming in, but we knew what we could bring to the table. That just elevated me to a whole other bracket. Yo, you don't even understand my coach, my father, my trainer. He even knows to a point of degree. And he even said, man, you just got fucking better. Sorry for my language. He said, man, yeah. like you're a lot more sharper. You're so like, you're just so tuned in. And I'm like, yeah, that thing helped me. He's like, I know. It's like that fight just made you better. And and people are not even going to know. They're like, pobrecito, I come bolsas. That's what he said. It's a whole nother level, man. Mm -hmm. I've learned so many new tricks while fighting that dirty fighter. I've learned so many good tricks. Yo, it's crazy, man. And nobody's ready for it. Nobody. And, and I can't wait to put that on display. So everybody tune in. And it's going to be lights out. That's why we call it. It's going to be lights out Lopez. I'm putting a mark on it. And I'm stamping it. Lights so, out Lopez. So, the takeover lights out Lopez. lights out Lopez. That's the new, the new nickname. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV 
on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.